Lumos. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. The witch's final resting place. Lodgok said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. Revelio. Dead Ashwinder. Your compatriots must have made off with the helmet. Lord Gok won't like this. Revelio. Revelio. Better show this to Lodgok. There must 
be some sort of mechanism for this doorway. There's no telling what lies in wait for me in there. Lord Gok, the sarcophagus had been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn, they got here first. We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. I'll head there now. Good, there's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. <sighs> Revelio. Revelio. These rocks have seen better days.
pointless. No one comes through here. Can bring them. Ah! You will pay for that. You're the one who released Treadwell, aren't you? That was a mistake. Kill oh. me yourself! Lee, you're going to regret that. Always get plants to fight your battles, do you? Unbelievable! 
Ranrock has fooled you all to your demise.
There they are, the Ashwinders. A lamb to the slaughter. Can 
finger. Ha! <laughs> the lamb returns to the wolf. Expulse Back up. some more. Uh, not the brightest child. Flash of inspiration. You pay for that. Can bring us. Now to fix the boat show. Thought you could hide from me, did you? Can bring us. Boat show. Fix boat show. Can bring us. Boat show. Might want to look up. Expulsion. Can bring up. Quite conductive, aren't we? Bring up. Rebellion.
Revelio. Revelio. That's it. This is for Rookwood! Oh, uh, try. Did you hear that? The pulsar. That's just the beginning. Couldn't bring up. The pulsar. No. Find an ass. Revelio. Looks rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done! This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. It just looks like a helmet to me. Ah, you're looking at what it is, rather than what it means. To most goblins, this is more than a mere helmet. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, then I'm glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned.
Hello, friend. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts, and she hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. I've not heard from my Uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? Still up for that broom contest? Of course. I'm just surprised you returned. <laughs> Where was your courage hiding? A vanishing cabinet? Let's see what you've got. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Made it. You won. 
Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Uh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. I don't want respect from the likes of you. All you do is insult people. You and everyone else need to get a thicker skin. Anyway, I'm moving on to the next course. It's near Irondale and offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Alby Weeks. Travel broadens the mind. Is the new reversal heck really so simple? Oh, you're back with something to report, I hope. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? No, oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways, worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight, nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine, says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smevik had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm, how to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? Rebellion. Welcome back. I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. I truly have... You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. I must tell you, half of Oxmead's been by the shop asking about rumours of a broom upgrade. Without the information you provided, my work would have taken twice as long. Thank you again. It may sound ambitious, but I've already begun work on another upgrade, more difficult to perfect than the last. I wondered, would you be interested in joining forces again? There's another course near Irondale that Miss Reyes has mastered. If you were to test this first upgrade there, it may help me as I develop the next. Oh, you'll consider it, won't you? What more can you tell me about the next course? It's just a jaunt from here. 
South of Oxmade, beautiful mountain views. The course was designed to test flyer stamina. Some of your classmates mentioned they were headed there, eager to see what Imelda has in store. A bit surprising, considering many of them express reticence at the idea of racing against her at all. I hope that won't deter you, and you'll give the course a go. At least think on it. Sounds as if you're really outdoing yourself. If I'm able to help, I will. Thank you. I know this recent success was only the beginning of what I can do for Broom Flight. Report back as soon as you can, and we'll be off to the races.